In this video, we're gonna be using PAA Sundown and the Mercur 37C Slant Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, and we have a lot to do today. We're gonna to announce a giveaway winner. We're gonna use a slant razor, use the PAA Sundown. It's gonna be fun, so stick around. Anyway, today we're gonna to be using PAA Sundown, which is uh, was inspired by this, the uh, Vintage Gillette Sun Up uh, aftershave from, I think, back in the 60s, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And to me, it has a, a scent that is in the realm of, but not exactly like Old Spice. A lot of these vintage um, soaps and aftershaves smell somewhat like uh, Old Spice, I, I think. Here's the notes for you right there. Oak moss, lemon, lavender. It's got a very nice scent. Scent strength on this is... Um, right at that medium level. It smells really, really nice. This is PAA, uh, the original Crown King formula. And there is your pour. And the soap is quite soft uh, to the touch. We'll give you the ingredients right there. This is a vegan uh, offering and, and a really, really nice soap, PAA. And they have some really amazing scents at PAA. Uh, this, by the way, costs $14.95 for four ounces. And on our cost chart there, that's $3.73, which is a good price. I do remind you, if you're gonna order uh, both the aftershave and soap from PA, get the bundle because you will save money. So keep that in mind. The razor today is the Mercure 37C. And as you can see there, that is a slant razor. The head is slanted this way and that's to sort of emulate that guillotine or guillotine cutting action. This is a two piece razor. You unscrew the bottom and pull the top cap off. And there you have your razor. And I'm gonna be using for the 10th shave the Persona 74 blade. This is a vintage blade uh, made of tungsten steel. Now, normally I don't get 10 shaves out of a DE razor blade and I don't even try to, but this is a special vintage blade and you can get quite a few shaves out of these. Normally I wouldn't push my blade that way. Here is what the blade looks like. If you are curious, shave number 10 and who knows how many we'll get out of it, but it's still feeling smooth. And so we'll continue on with it. There it is loaded in our razor and we will just Reassemble it, screw it down, and there you go. You can see that blade is both slanted and it's torqued sort of inside there. And so, very nice razor, mild shaver. They also have another version of this, which is the 39C that has a longer handle and has a little more heft. That one is referred to as the sledgehammer. I will link them below for your convenience. Okay, let's get going today. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, in the soap today, we used our chill mail from PAA to put a little menthol in it. I thought some good cooling would be nice again this morning. I've been enjoying that recently. And let's get started with our mister. This is just plain water, if you are curious. And uh, we are ready to go with the brush today. PAA Atomic Rocket. And let's get this shave underway. I've been looking forward to uh, using this because I, I like the old vintage type scents and uh, Who's better than Douglas from PAA at bringing back these old scents and bringing them back to life and so folks can still enjoy them? I think that's fantastic. We've got a good lather today. Um, I will say the vegan soaps for me, sorry for stomach growling there, the vegan soaps for me, sometimes I have to work them a little bit differently to get the weight and density that I like out of them. Now, a lot of people will say they don't notice any difference at all, and that's fine. That's, you know, that's them, but for me, Sometimes some of these uh, vegan soaps will uh, sort of create a little fluff in the lather first, and I sort of have to continue to work that out and add moisture slowly, but eventually you'll get a really nice lather. It just, uh, for me, it takes a little bit more effort, and if you're seeing the uh, little spot in there, uh, that's probably a menthol crystal that I didn't get ground up, but no worries, we will take care of that. All right, really, really nice. This smells great, by the way. I really like the, the scent of this soap. Let's cut that back and get going. Uh, I wanna mention, I did a, a lathering tutorial again yesterday. Uh, and I say again, cause I've made several, you know, throughout the years and a couple recently. And um, I got some really nice comments on that. I was using Sterling. And so if you wanna see that video, I will link it below. Uh, I always try to keep a couple of those tutorials in my links below and check it out. Maybe I'll put it up in one of the corners here, but I hope you'll maybe 
click that and then continue watching this video because we have a lot of stuff to, to mention. Anyway, I got a couple of really nice comments that uh, I was really appreciative of. And, and uh, to be fair, I appreciate all your positive comments. It does mean a lot to me. Um, I thank you for them. But a couple of them stood out. One of them was from Billy, and I'll put it on the screen right there for you. And Billy is a, a longtime viewer. And, you know, he's been with me through the ups and downs, and, and it hasn't always been a bed of roses here on the channel. I've had some rough patches where I've been angry and not really enjoying myself, and Billy has uh, hung in there, and, uh, you know, he told me I've been of help to him. And that, and that just means the world to me. When, when someone tells me, hey, I saw you do this or that, or... I've been watching your videos and I've learned to shave or or something you did help me. That just makes me feel great. I mean, that's that's really why we do it. And when I say we, I can't do it without you, the viewer. So to me, this is a collaborative effort. Now, um, obviously, I'm going to use the things that I enjoy, but it's a collaborative effort because we can't do it without viewers. And you viewers make a lot of this stuff possible, by the way. This razor feels amazing. Mild slant razor. If you want a slant razor that's mild and easy to use, the Mercur 37C is a great one. Anyway, back to the comment. I want to thank you, Billy. I really appreciate it. Again, this channel has not always been an easy watch for people back when I was <laughs> angry and not enjoying myself and, you know, having life issues. But now it is fun. And so I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you're stuck around, Billy. Thank you very much really makes my day. And then I got another comment from Rick and that comment was about, and I'll put it up on the screen here for you. It was about painting versus scrubbing. And what Rick realized and what I've try, been trying to get across to people, especially new people is, some people's face are quite sensitive to scrubbing with a brush. And Rick realized that once he started painting versus scrubbing, he had far less red, uh, redness and irritation. And so thank you, uh, Rick, for that comment. I'm so glad to have been a, um, of help. Now, I will say that you can, some people can sort of train their face, you know, by, uh, by scrubbing it. If you do it regularly, your face sort of gets used to it. It won't be as uh, dramatic. But for me, I just don't see the point in doing so. That's why I don't do it. Uh, this is enough trauma on your face, believe me, dragging the sharp steel. <laughs> so I don't want to add to it. And that's why I don't. So thank you very much, Rick and uh, Billy, for your comments. Those comments really mean a lot. And I, and I thank you. I can't thank you enough. It really means a lot. All right, let's get back into the shape. Oh, let's an announce the winner of the uh, Angora Soaps Olympos and the Captain's Choice Italia aftershave. And that goes to, we'll put it on the screen there, from the YouTube random comment picker, John Hart. So John, email me at cdb at imcdb.com, and I will get that out to you probably next week. It might take me a little time, so please bear with me. Um, thank you all for participating, and there will be another giveaway coming soon, so stay tuned. Like I said, the 5,000 for the second time giveaways are, are, are finished, but I'm not finished giving things away, and we do have things to give away, but we try to, you know, not drop a, a ton of them on top of each other, so... There you go. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit because I'm already at near nine minutes and I'm flapping and not doing <laughs> a lot of uh, shaving. There is a lot of lather in this brush, I can tell you that. And it is nice stuff, but again, I have to work just a little bit more diligently with uh, vegan soaps. Now, I know when I say that, Douglas is going to go, there's no reason for that. You know, I know. Listen, but my experience is what it is. And I always say, Never deny someone else's experience. You know what I mean? So if you have something happen, there's nothing worse than someone else telling you that's not what's happening. You know, you know it happened. <laughs> and so this is my experience and uh, I share it and we always call it like we see it. it doesn't mean I don't like the soap because I do. But honestly, I don't really see myself buying. Um, I'm going to buy obviously PAA and Katie's Bubbles and and uh, so on and so forth, because I love those brands and I love the products, but I don't see me buying a lot of vegan soaps in the future. Now, if, if that's all you use for ethical reasons, uh, thumbs up to you.
But for me, the tallow soaps just give me that density easier and I'm more accustomed to using them so that they just work better for my use case. It's not to say they're superior. It's just, um, I will buy PAA, I will buy Case Bubbles, Soap Commander, um, but I don't know that I'm gonna be buying a, a lot of, uh, you know, vegetable or vegan soaps, you know, going into the future just because I, I know what I like, you know. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the razor. Slant razor, made in Germany. Um, it feels mild, so don't worry about when you see the slant, if you're new, we have a lot of new folks. Thank you for joining us, new folk. Just because it's slanted doesn't mean it's gonna feel super aggressive and tear you up. Use the same technique that you use with any DE razor. Um, and it is fun. The, the idea is that it, it cuts easier because of that slant and torque in this particular way. Now, Razor Rock also makes a version of this called the German 37, which is a very affordable version of this as well. This one runs about um, $45 on Amazon. Um, and you might see it listed as MK-37001. Uh, Again, I'll link it for you below. And also, if you prefer longer handles, the 39C, uh, the 39C is there for you as well. 39C is a little bit more expensive on Amazon. You might be able to pick it up somewhere else. So do your due diligence on you know price comparison and all that. Try to get the best deal you can. I gotta say this this uh, Persona 74 on Shave 10 is still smooth as silk. This is still a mild razor. The, the 37C, but it's 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 really nice. It's a I would call this one an autopilot razor for me. Just very easy to use. It's not menacing. You just kind of use it and enjoy it. I really like it. I like the 34C too. I know some people don't. Shavers who have been shaving for a long time, some don't care for, but I love it. You just put a sharp blade in it and you know, you just get to going and have a great shave. Now let's talk about the soap today, the Sundown. Excellent scent. Really, really nice. It really does give you that vintage vibe. And who does that better than Douglas? Almost no one, or probably no one, honestly. When it comes to these inspired scents, he really loves digging in that history of, of these uh, old gems that were nearly forgotten. And he's been responsible for bringing a lot of them back. And I think that's something we should, you know, thank Douglas for because he, he has brought back many of these. And then, you know, other people have been bringing them back also. But, you know, as best I can recall, I think Douglas, as far as I can remember, was one of the first to really make a concerted effort to go back and try to recreate these old gems in terms of vintage Um fragrances of the past uh, as it applies to aftershaves because he really does have that love for these style of fragrances and, and the history behind them and I'm telling you right now I got I got just enough menthol in that uh in the soap for on passes two and three for it to be nice and cooling and so it's feeling really nice on my skin it's not affecting the scent um, very much at all DK asked me yesterday how much I smelled the menthol in it and when it's mixed up, I'm not really smelling it. You, I think if you smell the the grinder itself, you'll get some of the menthol, menthol scent. But once it's in the soap, I'm not really getting any uh, menthol scent. So, hope that helps, DK. But anyway, back to the soap here. I find that the CK, we, we call it the regular CK formula, works quite, quite well. And I will, if given a choice... I will buy it over the CK6 just because it gives me everything I need in a shaving soap and it is affordable and it's what I like to use. So I'll buy CK6 when it's the only thing available if I really, really want to buy some it. And I just have to have it. But otherwise, I love this original Crown King or regular CK as some people call it. I think it's very good. And it gets the job done and you get to enjoy the wonderful scents. And, and the sets, when you um, when you buy the bundle from PAA, if it's the regular CK, it's like $35 for the set, which is not too bad at all. 
make sure you're taking advantage of those bundles where you can with PAA. Because you'll definitely save money over buying the uh, soap and the aftershave separately. So keep that in mind. And I, I like using that atomic rocket brush that I've been using today. I think it's listed as 26, but the knot feels much bigger to me. It's very soft. And that's another thing Douglas does is he's uh, brought back a lot of the vintage style razors at affordable prices and brushes. Uh, so a lot of these brushes, almost all his brushes are based on vintage designs and he brings them to you very, very affordably, not 50, $60 or pushing $100 for a brush with a knot, but usually in the neighborhood of $20, you know, or under. And I, th I think that's fantastic. So a lot of people give Douglas a hard time. Um, but honestly, in the last number of years, his work within this hobby and community, you just, you can't really, I think it's hard to deny that he's, uh, he's been one of the hardest workers in the hobby. And uh, of course, you know, he makes money at it. That's the way he makes his living. But again, we, we benefit from it. So uh, I'm glad that he's around and bringing these uh, old sense to life. And I think quite frankly, he's expired other people to do it as well. And uh, that's great also. But as far as I can remember, he's if not the first, one of the first who really focused on these vintage aftershaves and creating soaps and uh, bring them back. And also, I will say, he is one of those artisans that uh, when I've reached out to with ideas, he's always been receptive. He doesn't make everything I ask him to make. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, it has to make sense for him and he has to really enjoy that um, the fragrance or whatever I'm asking him to make, but he has been receptive to making things that I've asked. And I, for one, appreciate that. Because, you know, in a lot of places, you just can't go to them and say, hey, you know, would you make this? A lot of times they just laugh you out of the room. And some artisans, even within this community would. Some of them are not receptive at all to your ideas in terms of if you suggest something, some of them are. And so for me, when it's someone who is receptive and they bring some things that I love to life, I respect it and I appreciate it. And so thank you, Douglas, for the inspired sense that you've made. Uh, and thank you for bringing these vintage scents to life, Douglas and Fran. We often forget to mention Fran because Douglas is sort of the, you know, the face of the company. Although if I'm being honest, Fran is a prettier face. Sorry, Douglas. <laughs> anyway, um, she does a lot of the work, I am certain. And she doesn't get the credit that she deserves. So we really appreciate Fran as well. And I forget to mention her. Fran, I apologize because um, you are instrumental in that company as well. All right, that was a really nice shave. The soap was great, brush great. The menthol kicking, man, glorious. All right, stay tuned. We'll be right back. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse and then we followed with the PAA alum. Excellent, no stinging. We did a cold water rinse and then uh, toweled off with our Lancaster towel and then applied the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. The shave today with the Merker 37C Slant Razor, terrific. It's a great mild slant razor. If you've never tried a slant, try this one. It is really, really good. The PAA Sundown was absolutely fantastic. I'm so appreciative of uh, Doug and Fran for bringing these old vintage scents back to life. It was tremendous. And we're gonna close this one out today with the uh, Sun Up, which that soap is based off of and have a great uh, aftershave splash here. And hopefully we'll be on the way to a great day. So thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you will catch us tonight on Real Talk with Above the Top. Thank you again for your comments. Thanks for everything. I can't say thank you enough because I really do appreciate you. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, sure shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.